Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a food shopping haul and the shop I went to was Sainsbury's. I don't usually go there but I was just in the area where Sainsbury's was so I just thought while I was there I'd go there and I was looking for some like particular cleaning products that I found and I'm so happy it was worth going to Sainsbury's just to find those products. So anyway, I'm just going to stop waffling and get straight into the video. Here is an overview of my food shopping. Just for reference, there's two adults in this house. Um, yeah, so I just went to Sainsbury's this time. I didn't actually think it was any more expensive, but I feel like Sainsbury's has the like reputation of being the more expensive supermarket. But anyway, I'm just going to go into um, the shopping and sort of show you it in a bit more detail. So I'm just going to start here. I don't think I've done this in any real order, but um, anyway, I've got some prawn crackers to go with the beef and black bean, which was in my old food shopping haul, I believe. But um, I'm going to do that again. I've got a loaf of King's Mill bread. I've um, got some Kinder chocolate. Connor loves these, so I just got a couple of packs because I think they were on offer for a pound. Um, a twin pack of hobnobs because, again, they were on offer and they're just so good with a cuppa. <laughs> um, a couple of snack bars, things for Connor for lunch boxes, chocolate slices and galaxy ones. I've then got a burrito kit because I love this and I find it really hard to get hold of. So when I saw it, I just thought I'd pick one up. I got some bagels. Now, I got these. They're a bit different. They're thin bagels and not really for the healthiness, but because I just find that the other ones are sometimes really dense, but these felt really nice and soft. And I'm going to have those with salmon and cream cheese, which we'll see later in this haul. I've also got some tins of soup. I've got vegetable, chicken noodle, tomato, and chicken and sweet corn because I do love a soup for lunch in the winter well like autumn winter it's not winter at all in like the autumn um, and I should make some but I'm just too lazy I got some broccoli um, I got some British ice dittle gem lettuce um, I got some Robinson's apple and blackcurrant I also got hiding at the back here some just plain rice to go with my beef and black bean I got some potatoes I think some Mary Piper or something like that, Mary's Piper, Mary Piper, Mary's Piper, or whatever the hell it is, Marie Piper, I don't know, something Piper potatoes. Then I also got my crisps, which is Connor's like guilty pleasure, he loves crisps, so I always get loads when they're on offer. I've got some plain hula hoops, some wheat crunchies, and some McCoy's uh, chips, which are really nice, they're really, really good. I also got some pate to go in sandwiches, which I was going to do with cucumber, but I've got to get cucumbers, so maybe like pate and lettuce or something. I do love a bit of pate, especially on toast. Um, I got some fruit yogurt for Connor's lunches. I got three um, yogurts. Um, these are for me. I got a banoffee pie, a vanilla, and a banana in custard. I don't like yogurts with bits in, and most adult yogurts have bits in. So, and these ones never do because they're, well, they're not like fruit yogurts. Um, I also got some full fat um, soft cheese. I always usually get Philadelphia, but it was really expensive, and this was on offer. And it's a huge tub for like it was about a pound, one pound twenty or something. So, we'll give that a go. Then over to the meats bit. I'm really sorry this haul does, I should have said it, it does include me and dairy. We're not vegan, we're not vegetarian. So yeah, I'm really sorry if that's the sort of thing you're looking for. <laughs> um, so I got some smoked salmon um, to go with um, my bagels. I got some bacon. I got some diced beef for my beef and black bean sauce. I got some mints. I also got some sandwich fillings. I got some chicken, it's garlic and herb chicken. And I also got some sausage rolls for lunch boxes. And now these are the frozen bits I bought. Um, the only two frozen things I got was some Yorkshire puds because I've got some lamb chops in the freezer I want to do with a roast. And I just thought they'd be nice with Yorkshire puds. And then I just got these because they're on offer and they just sounded quite nice. I like to just have some frozen fish in the freezer just for a quick dinner with veg and potatoes. Um, so this is just some um, gash whatever it is some sort of fish with lemon and parsley now on to the last few bits which is the cleaning product which i'm probably the most excited about i've been trying to find this for so so long and i'm not gonna lie it was pretty expensive it was something like it was either three or four pounds which really for anything i don't tend to spend that much but i've been trying to get it for so so long that i was like you know what i don't even care um i'm just trying to see if i can see it on the receipt of how much it costs it was either three or four pounds. It was three pounds, and that was with a pound off. But I've been wanting, I've been wanting to use this for so long that I was like, I don't even care. I'm just gonna buy it. I also got me duck pine. I really love pine scent. Pull the pine. <laughs> Bit of a Mrs. Hinch there. Um, and I've been trying to get the pine scent. I've, they had all the others, and I don't like the yellow one. I always see, and I don't like that because they stain your toilet a little bit sometimes. I don't want my toilet stained yellow, so I'd rather it be green so people know it's clean. Um, so yeah, I got that in the scent pine, and I just got some bubble bath from Radox in the muscle soak. Well, that's everything I got from Tesco's, and I'm just gonna quickly sh not Tesco, Sainsbury's. Sorry, I'm just gonna show you what I got. I also went to Pound Stretcher, so I just thought I'd show you what I got in there as well. I got some of the um, Dolce Gusto 
pods because they're really expensive and they were 3 79 They didn't have a great selection, but I got cappuccino and mocha, which I was really happy with. I also got some more microfiber cloths because these are freaking life. Like I use them for everything and they're so much better than like a sponge or um yeah, like a sponge or like a other kind of cloth. These are so good. And for a pound. I got some golden syrup porridge and these were like a pound again and I love these for brekkie. I got some measuring cups because those sorts of things that you need when you're doing a recipe but don't have. Um, so I bought these, which are just really handy for when recipes are in cup or if you need like a certain amount. So I got those, they were £1.50. And I also got the spoon ones for like these measurements and these were a pound. And then also got a big pack of bin liners, which I'm not really sure how much they were, probably a couple of quid. And these were like 60p. I don't really ever use Persil, but I smell this one. It's pink grapefruit. And oh my God, it smells so good. So I was like, yeah, that'll do. I go through a lot of washer liquid for someone with a dishwasher. I don't even hand wash a lot, but my um, one I've got at the moment is running out, and I also just got one in Apple. Gonna have to give that. To oh, that is lush. It smells like apple sweeties. But that's everything I got in Pound Stretcher. But anyway, back to the Sainsbury's haul. That's everything I got in Sainsbury's. And um, I'll just let you know how much I spent. I did actually get the receipt out ready to tell you. No, that's the Pound Stretcher receipt. Receipt. <laughs> I spent. Sixty-seven pounds and thirty-six pence, but I don't think that's bad because I don't know if I showed you or not. I don't think I did. I also got a frying pan because our one, the handle broke, and they do have like um some kind of home event on in there at the moment. And I think this was only like a fiver or something like that. It wasn't that expensive. So guys, that's everything I got in Sainsbury's. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, and also don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Bye.